Here's how to play Cypher 2 with the Seaboard Rise, or the Seaboard Block. Cypher 2 is designed for deep sonic exploration and expressive performances. It features a vast range of sound design tools and over 1,300 sounds, including 500 MPE-optimized presets. Let's see how you can get the most out of Cypher 2 with a Seaboard Rise. For this example, we'll be using Cypher 2 as a plugin inside Logic Pro. However, the same process can be applied to other MPE-compatible digital audio workstations. All MPE presets in Cypher 2 are designed to respond to Rolly's five dimensions of touch, allowing you to manipulate each sound through natural finger gestures. Experiment with glide, slide, press, and lift gestures to explore each preset. Through Cypher's transmod system, you can see which parameters are being controlled by each of the five dimensions of touch by hovering over their modulation boxes. For example, when I hover over slide, I can see that Y-axis finger gestures are controlling the scale and wave of oscillator 2, as well as the sustain of the amp envelope. From the control panel on the Seaboard Rise, press the power button once to enter MIDI mode. Now you can use the three touch faders to control static parameters to adjust the sound of the preset. In addition to the touch faders, you can also use the XY pad to control additional parameters. Now we know how to control the MPE presets of Cypher 2 with a Seaboard Rise. But this only begins to scratch the surface of the possibilities with this powerful synth controller combination. Continue exploring and have fun.